Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. Look at this gorgeous weather. It's not freezing fog. It's not 34, 33, or 34 degrees of fog until 3 o'clock, just in time for the sun to pop out and then go down. The exception. Well, we obviously, if the fog moved out and I see the sun, that must mean another system's coming into the Pacific Northwest. In fact, we've got a, a low off the coast now, and so we're going to be back into one rainstorm storm after another, which is why Oregon is green. But this is happy in here. I was just looking in here to see what I'm going to have to do. Eight amps going into the batteries, and the batteries are full. I'm finishing up my absorb cycle. So I was, I think I'm still going to use this for the other solar coming in. So I've got some more breakers and more breaker positions. So I'll have the existing array on, on one of the lugs. And then, of course, every other one is on the split phase on an AC panel. So this gives me three more positions that uh, I can put on the other, on L2, and run that to a separate charge controller. So that load center is going to work fine for me. I'll change this out to another 60. This is the DC generator. Well, I'm going to be putting in a 400 amp DC generator. So that's going to be too small anyway. So I'll mount another load center in here. But for right now, on the second charge controller, all I've got to do is put another 60 on there and put it over on the other lug on L2. And that'll get me going. The configuration of the uh, Magnum inverter is quite different than this. It's more of a a box shaped than a long rectangular shape. That trace has sure been a good inverter. It's amazing. Uh, they just don't make them like that anymore. So I'm going to keep it as a backup for sure. So where to mount everything? Uh, we started out with a 210 watt system I wrote it to put the controller here at one time then we added 400 more watts we had 610 watts and then I tore it all off and added more and put in another charge controller and then the inevitable obvious thing happened we couldn't deal with 12 volt anymore we needed to go to 24 and on and on and on we go so I need to totally rearrange this room so how do I do that for me, it'd be easier to take it all out and start from scratch, but then I put the house without power for... With my neck and my current health, and I get about an hour on my feet a day, and I've already spent that taking mom to a neurologist today. You don't see me getting this done in a single day. In fact, I'm having a hard time standing here making this video as it stands. I'm going to have to do something, though. I've got to move that charge controller over and I've got to mount the classic 200 on that wall somewhere. Of course I have this whole wall too. The inverter actually could be over here on this wall because I don't need to see the inverter. The panel that controls the inverter will be remote and I could put it over here. So I'll probably put the Magnum remote panel here next to the trimetric and then just mount the inverter on the wall it could even be up high then the only challenge would be where to put the other uh, charge controller maybe I could put it right here if I did that then I could just switch the cables the longer cables of course from this inverter to this inverter and we'd be rocking and rolling in, in an hour so I could do that in a day maybe hang the charge controller on another day and just use this wall and as far as access I would just have a panel right here for the Magnum and I could probably bend over here enough to look at the oh maybe 
Okay, look at the um, classic 200. Or I could put uh, some plywood. You can see I just used whatever I had, but probably what I should do is go ahead and panel this wall with pine 1x12s, which I have uh, probably a couple thousand feet of this. And just nail that on this wall and take this piece of plywood off and maybe incorporate this wall. I don't know. When we started out, this was just going to be a very small backup. And then we decided to just turn off the power to the power company and just go off grid. Okay. Well, I'll think about that some more. Maybe I'll watch this video and critique myself and point out the obvious. Hopefully you guys will. Uh, I'm not going to put it all in conduit. Um, I just don't need to. This isn't anywhere near the house. It's a garden shed. So the stuff that does go to the house is in conduit. Don't really care about what's up in here. Maybe I should. I don't know. It's a lot of bother. You try getting this done on your feet one hour a day. Let's see. Can you run a homestead one hour a day? <laughs> Been doing it. Well, me, yeah. My wife. She gets saddled with most of the real work i just drag hoses around in the summer and process vegetables and she is the canning factory for both the chickens and the deer and anything else that we uh need to can my wife awesome woman don't make them like that anymore if they do i haven't seen very many of them I tell her, you broke the mold, girl. All right, have a blessed day.